Hey you guys, I'm back. <laughs> I I took a break from YouTube for a few years. I can't even remember how many years it's been. Um, but my mental health was, was pretty bad there for a while. Um, so I just needed to take a break for my own little bee. Um, but here I am again. <laughs> Um, I have been I have put all my other videos in private just because they're old and I used a lot of CC in my builds and videos back then and I'm gonna try not to do that this time because um, I just want you guys to be able to download this without having to download any additional CC. I might do use the occasional CC but it won't be much, I promise. Um, so this build is gonna be a it's going to be inspired by a real life floor plan that I found online. I think I found it on a site called houseplans.com maybe. Um, I think I actually found that website through Lil Sipsy's channel. Uh, I believe she did a build inspired by a house plan that she found on that website. And I've actually been doing quite a lot of these on my free, uh, in my free time because I really enjoy them. It's a challenge. And it gets my brain working, which I really re need right now because I am currently not working. Uh, I haven't been allowed to go to work since, I think, March. So it's, I think it's been two and a half months now since I've just been stuck at home. So, I mean, it's the perfect time to start uh, doing YouTube again. <laughs> uh, it's actually been quite helpful for, helpful for me to to build houses because like I said it, it gets, gets my brain working a little and I get to be creative again which I've really missed because my job is um, a very, very creative job. Um, I work at a local newspaper. Um, so this has actually helped, helped me quite a lot. Um, so yeah this house is in my mind it's like a vacation home. Um, I think I I think it's like inspired by Airbnbs pretty much. So my thought process is that like this house is a rental house. You can rent it. You can stay here for a few weeks. And it's actually like two apartments pretty much. Um, one apart Both apartments have separate entrances and, and all that. Um, so you could have multiple families be staying here at the same time, which is pretty fun. Um, of course, you could just convert it, remove the second entrance in the back or something. Um, and then you could just have it as a complete house for just one family if you would, if you would like to. Um, yeah, okay, so while I'm working on the outside here, let's, let's talk about that new trailer, okay? The new trailer for Eco Lifestyle, Eco Living or something like that, if I remember correctly. I know that got a lot of hate. I think that fake lease with Cantor Living kind of ruined the hype a little bit there because I think people were expecting to get Cantor Living instead of Eco Lifestyle, but I think Eco Lifestyle is actually a, I think it's a fun idea. I think, I mean, it's something new and it's always fun when, I always like it at least when the Sims team tries new things and doesn't just do what they've always, always done. You know what I mean? Um, so I think this expansion pack could actually be quite interesting. And I actually read the other day that um, this whole recycling and taking care of the environment thing, that's going to affect all the worlds. It's not just going to affect this new world. Um, so if you don't take care of your trash while you're living in like Willow Creek or something, then it could still affect that world. And that world could become full of dirt and smog as well. And I think that's a nice touch because we had that clean up the world thing with um, Solani, but that only affected Solani, it didn't affect any of the other worlds. So I think it's interesting that they're trying to implement it into all these other worlds this time around. So I'm actually pretty excited about this expansion pack. I'm gonna get it of course, uh, I'm gonna try my best to get a, out a first impression video of me trying it out. Uh, as soon as I can at least um, but we'll see how that goes <laughs> I mean it's, I'm happy it's coming out on a Friday I mean I won't be working so that it's coming out on a Friday doesn't really matter but usually Fridays are my stay at home days um, because I have been spending a lot of time with my family while I've been in quarantine but 
I try to keep Fridays as my like mental health day, kind of, just to stay at home, recover, make sure I'm all good, make sure my energy levels are, are okay, pretty much, because I have to be a little bit careful with that, because uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned this when I had my channel active last time, but I do have autism, so I do have a problem with like energy levels and burnouts and I can't be social for too many days in a row, otherwise I will just get completely freaking exhausted. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have to just be, be a little bit mindful of that. Um, yeah, so Fridays are usually my stay-at-home days, I'm just relaxing and uh, I think I think I should be able to get get a video out to you guys pretty quickly once that expansion pack drops. Uh, I know it's going to be released here in Sweden where I live. Um, on, I think it's going to be released at midnight uh, between the 4th and the 5th. So I'm probably going to stay up <laughs> and just hit download and then go to bed so that it can download while I'm asleep. I don't think I'll be trying it out that night. I think I'll be trying it out the morning after when I, when I wake up again. So hopefully, maybe by the end of June 5th, um, here in Sweden at least, I think it's going to be, let's see, I don't know what, what, that, what that is in other time zones for you guys, but I know like USA, America is usually like 6 to 9 hours behind, I think it's behind, I'm not quite sure, um, so midnight for me in Sweden I think is like, um, I think it's 6 p.m. New York time, and then it's like 3 p.m. at California time, I think it's something like that, I'm not entirely sure. Um, so you, you guys are probably going to see it in um, during June 5th, but I will be, um, I'll, I'll probably be uploading like late at night for my time uh, on June 5th. Just to get that first impression out to you guys as quickly as I can. <laughs> we'll see if I'm successful though, because I I have forgotten how much work it is to make a YouTube video. Just filming and editing and uh, recording voiceovers, because this voiceover, this is my third attempt, or fourth attempt, actually, at a voiceover. Uh, <laughs> it was really difficult for some reason. Uh, I couldn't get the timing right, because when I do voiceovers, I usually have the video playing and then I talk as the video plays. Um, but I ended up talking for too long and the video wasn't really catch, catching up properly. Uh, so I had to like export the video and oh, it was a whole mess. Uh, it's a pretty confusing process, but yeah. I'm hoping it turns out good this time. <laughs> Otherwise I'm gonna be pretty frustrated and this video might not get up as soon as I'm, as soon as I'm hoping it's gonna be. Uh, it's currently May 10th, so if it's not May 10th when you're seeing this, then I failed. If it is May 10th and you're seeing this, then congratulations, I made it. <laughs> so I'm working on the inside here, decorating, trying to figure out what to do with all this empty space because this is a pretty big house. Um, and you're gonna see that I use a lot of white. I don't know why, but every time I try to do a modern build, I automatically lean towards making the inside very white and neutral. Um, so this is this is kind of a solid color challenge. It's all white. <laughs> but let me know if you actually want me to do one of those solid color challenges um, in the comments down below, because I would love to try it out. Uh, and maybe we can choose, just give me suggestions for which color to use, because White in The Sims 4 is pretty easy because there are a lot of white furniture and things like that. So give me a challenge, please. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this house is going to be very white. But since it is like a rental house, I figured that something neutral is just easy um, to rent out because it can suit a lot of people. And I'm also going for like a hotel vibe and those are also, hotel rooms are often, hotel rooms are often pretty neutral as well. Um, so that's why I'm going for this white, light, bright 
thing in the house. I actually really liked it when I was uh, finished with it. And I really liked this bathroom with the lights by the uh, jacuzzi, hot tub, jacuzzi I think it is. Jet tub. Um, I'm not sure exa exactly what the term is for it, but I really liked that bathroom. Um, so this downstairs apartment thing is going to have, I think it has three bathrooms and three bedrooms. And then once we move to the upstairs, you're going to see that that one is going to have two bedrooms and two bathrooms. But every single bedroom in this has a double bed. So you can fit 10 people if they're all here with, with their partners or something. Um, I don't have any kids' beds in this build because I figured that, I don't know, I didn't feel like it. I wanted it to be more hotel-like and you don't really see kids beds in hotel rooms in hotel rooms it's usually just double beds or single beds and i did it just decided to do all double beds and uh, yeah a lot of these rooms actually have desks with computers as well that's not a common thing in hotel rooms but uh, i figured that an airbnb is can be a little bit different and there you could see me doing a sectional with those living room chairs from discover university uh, I really like building sectionals with those. I think that's, I think they work perfectly for that, actually. Um, I've done that a few times in my other builds that you guys haven't seen yet because I never recorded them. <laughs> I've just been building for fun um, recently. So I think this is the third or fourth house I'm building this month, maybe. Um, I really started getting into building in May this year. I started, I did, did a few builds in like January, uh, but then I stopped again and then I did, didn't really start up, start doing it again until May. Um, and there you could see me. Dang, this video has a few g glitches. I'm really sorry about that. I don't know what that is about. Um, yeah, uh, I apologize for that. I, I can't, couldn't be bothered to record this again i think those glitches are from my editing software maybe i think it's not the best but i just did chose a free wor version you know um yeah so this is me doing the upstairs bedrooms um i did put down a lot of plants a lot of books and then those wall lights instead of doing lights on the bedside tables because when you look at hotel rooms usually they don't have that many lamps on the bedside tables those bedside tables are usually just full of yeah full of other stuff and just empty space for you to put books or whatever you want to have on your bedside tables um, so they usually have those wall lights instead and then I decided to put in the vanity I think those came with I mean, it was an early stuff pack. I don't remember the name of it, but hotel rooms usually have those um, vanity light things as well, actually. So that's why I decided to put those in there. This gives it a little bit, little bit of a realistic touch, I guess. And here you can see me adding robes and towels and uh, toilet paper <laughs> to all the bathrooms because at this point I remember that I had forgot to do that. Um, and I figured that if it's supposed to be like hotel inspired Airbnb, like you would have a lot of towels and robes that you could use, um, once you take in the shower or a bath. And both of these apartments actually have fully functional laundries, which I thought was a nice touch as well, because when you're on vacation and you want to stay for a long time, the one thing you're at, you're, you're thinking about usually is laundry. Where do you do your laundry? Um, so when you're staying in a hotel, they usually provide that service for you for a small fee or whatever. Um, but, uh, when you're living in a house like this, it's nice to have a laundry in it. So you wouldn't have to go to a laundromat on the street or something. So it's nice to just have that included. And now I started to work on the outside, trying to figure out what plants to have for the front of the house here. Um, I actually really like this, I really, really do like this succulent plant, especially when you size it up um, like that and you can see all the texture and you can see all the plants more properly than when it's so small. 
Um, and then I'm working on the back here. I placed down some yoga mats. I thought that was a cool touch. And then I'm trying to figure out what to do with that empty space. And here's a glitch again. I'm really sorry. Placing down some bikes. I figured that if you rent this house, you can use the bikes that come comes with the house and just, yeah, take them down to the beach. And here's a glitch again. I'm really sorry. I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing either way. Then I'm placing these benches down in the front here just to so you can sit there, get some sunlight because that wall is probably going to be really hot since it's white and reflects a lot of light. Um, placing some decorations along the side of the house here just to fill out that empty wall. I tried to place them over here too, but I really didn't like how it looked, so I just ended up deleting them instead. And I think I'm actually done with the outside soon. Yeah, I'm just placing down a few plants, trying to figure out the best way to space them out so that they're even. <laughs> and uh, filling up out this little corner here with some plants because you can never have too many plants. I actually have over 50 plants in my apartment. I'm a crazy plant lady and I'm not ashamed of it. Um, so yeah, I'm not done soon. Yeah, I think I am actually. Um, just making a little driver here, adding a wall so you don't crash right into the patio if you drive too far up, uh, so you have a wall to stop you. And then just evening out the terrain a little bit, replacing that tree, and here comes the screenshots. I'm actually really happy with how this house turned out. I mean, I would love to go on vacation here, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I really hope you guys will enjoy this house as much as I did, as much as I enjoyed building it. Um, please send me screenshots if you do use this house in your game. I would love to see it. Um, my gallery ID is LMDJ if you want to download this house. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all the fun YouTube stuff. And I will probably see you in my next video. I don't know when that's going to be. I can't make any promises. I'm hoping to get at least one, one video out per week. Um, but we'll see how that goes. So anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you all so, so much. And I will talk to you in my next one. Bye, guys.